Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. Tonight we have the brand new Hyundai Kona 2024 version and I want to show you the lights. Exterior lights, interior lights, everything about lights on this Hyundai Kona I will show you in this video. As always I try to do that with all new cars if I have time and if, I, if it's possible to get the car in the night time. And yeah, I will start with the exterior uh, of the lights. I will turn on the high beam, the low beam. I will turn on the brakes and also the reverse light so you can see it. So first of all, I wanna turn on the high beam. So just go in the front of the car so you can see a little bit better the lights. And then what I will do, I will just turn on the high beam. Now is the high beam on, now are the high beam uh, off. Now it's on, now it's off. Yes, so I think you can understand if you go a little bit on the side, you can see a little bit better. So check this out, high bin, low bin, high bin, low bin, high bin, low bin, high bin, low bin. They look really cool. And I think they make more, more than enough light. If you come to me right now, I wanna show you also from this position, how it looks in the front there. So for example, right now are the low bin on, right? And then this is the high bin, this is the low bin. I like the fact that the light is very white and bright in the nighttime. From my point of view, it's more than enough light on the street. So it illuminates the streets really good. It's not a super matrix LED light, but from my point of view, it looks really, really fine. Now go in the back and check out the brakes. As you can see right now, this is the brake on, brake off. Brake on, brake off. And now I want to turn on also the reverse. Now we are in reverse, so you can see the reverse light. And then again, the brake off, brake on, brake off, brake on. So you can go back to parking mode. So those are the lights in the reverse. Now let me take the camera and I want to take you through the car a little bit and make you a, a tour around the car so you can see a little bit better. So I like very much this signature, that Robocop signature, I can tell. From the first time when I saw this uh, Hyundai Kona, I was thinking about Robocop. Uh, if some of you know that movie or if you know Robocop, you will know that uh, this bar of light in the front and on the rear, it's very similar with what it has in the front instead of the eyes. And I like that. I like that it's a unique signature. And even in the dark, in the nighttime, if you saw those uh, lights and those bars, you will know what car it is. And it's an interesting signature. It's an interesting uh, direction that Hyundai go with those lights. And I have to say that I like that. Now you can see the bar across the back of the car look really nice. On the down part, we have the turning signals. And here in the middle, something that I wish to be different are the lights on the number plate. They are normal halogen light, a yellow light. I wish Odo to be kind of a uh, LED. It will look much better if it will be a white light, but you can change them yourself. And down we have also the fog lamp and it's also a normal halogen light uh, incandescent bulb, uh, but it looks like an LED. If you look from this angle, you won't notice. I mean, from this angle, from this distance, you don't know if it's LED or it's a normal bulb light. Turning signals, LED lights everywhere, even here on the mirrors, LED lights. In the front, we have LED lights. On the down part, we have the high beam and low beam integrated around here, and they are very powerful, as you saw before, quite nice. And on the upper side, we have again this Robocop bar of uh, LED. So from the point of view of exterior light, this is it. I mean, most of the lights are uh, LED. And I have to say for the price of the car, it's quite fine. Let's go forward with the interior light. And first of all, we will start with the trunk. Uh, the car comes with automatic lift gate. That's also nice. And you can see from this angle, the interior light. So uh, you will see that even the uh, button here, it's illuminated in the background, a nice whitish light. And then inside the trunk, uh, we have a light, quite LED light. Yes, so it's not a yellow light. I like that. And it's pretty powerful. So you have plenty of light here in the trunk. This is the only light, uh, but you have plenty and it's more than enough uh, lights. Now let's go inside. If I go on this area, you will see the lights inside. Even if you open the doors, you will see that it doesn't illuminate the floor. Not on the rear, not on the front, you don't have any lights on the down part. Now, going inside, you can see that even in the interior, we have this uh, white 
LED light, so no yellow lights inside. This is something that I like very much. I think it's much more brighter and the visibility is much better. So the only light that we have, it's up here, right? But it's super, super powerful. Then we have some background light actually here on the USB-C port. And then if you go in the front, you have another LED, two LED lights on the upper side, and you can see the dashboard, how it's illuminated from this angle. Plenty of light inside the car. You can see without any problem in every angle of the car, I should say. I like also very much the ambient light that they integrated around there. As you can see down there, it's a, it's a place, it's a storage space, and it's illuminated by a bar, an LED blue light. And this blue light, it's kind of everywhere behind every single button. It has this bluish light the same as Hyundai use it also on other models. Let's go in the front. Let me show you that there. If you open the door in the front, you will see that no illumination under the floor, but it's okay because we have this background light right here in bluish. And then you have some light also here in the uh, storage space. I like the way it looks. And then inside here, you already saw before this LED light. Then again, behind those buttons, the same bluish light on the legs. We don't have any light, any light at all. And then go inside the car, you will see right here, right now everything is dark. So if I go a little bit backward with my seat, I love those seats because you can go directly straight on the back. You can see this ambient light while you're driving that looks gorgeous. And you can see this background bluish light also here on the buttons on the steering wheel, even here on the right side, even on the stalk that changed uh, the gears from here and then you can see the cockpit it looks really nice it's a nice ambient light inside the cabin everywhere here behind the buttons the same light the same bluish light and even here on the climatic system so it looks really cool i want to turn off the lights outside so you can see the lights outside one more time it's quite nice up here on the mirror we don't have any light oh of course we have on the upper side and it's also an led light super cool but you have to turn it on and off separately so this is with the light in the interior i like very much this ambient light here where you have this storage space it looks really cool i mean it looks really premium i like what uh, hyundai really did uh, with the car to be honest i really like it anyway i guess that was the video i guess i show you every single light of this Hyundai Kona 2024 model. So if you want to see test drive in the nighttime with the same car, I wait till next days. Don't miss it out, guys. I think probably the video will be post first, the test drive. So check out on the channel. If it's not, click the subscribe button to see the notification when the video will be posted. And by the way, if you're in Romania, in Bucharest or around Bucharest, check out Neo Motors. They are super nice. I will leave the link in the description, also on the screen. So if you wanna buy the car, see the car, test drive the car, any Hyundai cars, check them out, neomotors.ro. I will leave the link in the description. So yeah, again, thank you for watching. If you have questions, ask me down below, stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.